Hi everybody, welcome back to the coffee break. My name is Ryan. Let's get to it. All of this is for you. It's gone. It might be gone now. I'm sorry. I miss it. Nintendo Switch Online has reached the milestone of having over 100 retro games available to subscribers. That's right, you can now play such classics as Caveman Ninja, Joe and Mac, Magical Drop 2, and Spanky's Quest, an SNES action game from 1991 about a monkey with a magical bubble. And yes, I did check the ESRB rating on the last game. It was rated G-U-A-G-Y-M-O-O-T-G -O -O for Grow Up and Get Your Mind Out of the Gutter. An official trailer for the movie Till Death has been released in which Megan Fox's character is chained up to her dead husband, all the while fighting off two home invaders that seem to have been hired to do so by the deceased spouse. Critics have described it as a fun and lighthearted romp for the entire family. The developers behind the upcoming MMORPG Palia have touted that there will be romance options within the game, even going so far as to say they may eventually add marriage and children. I say they should go even further and let the children have minds of their own. Like when your oldest, Tyler, decides he wants to farm peaches instead of apples. But the land is obviously not set up for peaches. But does he listen? No. He just wants to follow his dreams, old man. You can't put me in your box of apples. Hey, listen up, Tyler. First of all, it's a crate of apples. Second, I had dreams as well. I wanted to adventure around, explore caves, and discover the main plot of this game. But no. I settled down with a beautiful NPC known as your mother and had an ungrateful son. I just don't understand him. We're like apples and oranges. But the oranges are peaches. Tyler. <laughs> As of July 16th, The Twilight Saga has been released onto Netflix and has already dominated the top 10 most watched lists, with all five films taking up one spot each. In other Netflix news, the streaming giant is reporting a net loss of nearly half a million paid subscribers in its most recent earnings report. I'm sure the two stories are unrelated. On July 11th, a sealed copy of Super Mario 64 broke video game auction records, selling for $1.56 million. The sealed copy received a 9.8 plus plus grading, which is the highest possible rating. Now, I myself have a copy of Mario 64. I bet I could, you know, get a bit of money for that, right? Mind you, it is unsealed and was written on with permanent marker. It says Banjo-Kazooie. I don't know what I was doing. So, uh, just... Ballpark me. What do you got? Well, that's just not nice. With the popularity of Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead film, a prequel movie is slated to come out in fall 2021, entitled Army of Thieves, which follows safecracker Ludwig Dieter in the early days of his criminal career. With more sequels and spin-offs slated to be in the works, I believe this is my opportunity to pitch my own ideas to Mr. Snyder. A spin-off film where literary scholars are held up in a library and must fight off a horde of zombies with knowledge and the harrowing choice of using their precious books as weapons. War and peace. Just war now. A film in which a titular unmarried couple must host a barbecue at their home all the while. Several newlyweds come and start critiquing everything from the home decor to the lawn and even the most dreaded question of all. So, when are you two gonna toy the knot? Mmm. I hate her drapes. They're awful. I just hate them. Oh, tacky. The film stars a newly graduated college student trying to make her way up in the world, all the while a sinister presence looms just out of reach. 
First, it starts with a letter in the mail. Then, the harassing phone calls, each more devastating than the last. Finally, they show up to her home, asking for more and more. They are the creditors. <laughs> you owe money on your business loan. I don't, she might have a business. It might just be college. College is expensive. Z zombie beds attack people. Sorry, that one needs a little more time. The entire movie is just people going, oh my god, I'm so full. Oh, I shouldn't have had all that bread. It's a buddy comedy where Fred from the Fred movies joins up with Ted from the Ted movies and Ned Flanders from the Simpsons. And they have to kill a zombie named Zed. However, they fail and Zed becomes their friend. The sequel is named The Adventures of Ned, Ted, Fred, and Zed where they go on a road trip to find Zed's father, Jed, who owes money to a mob boss named Ged and his gang known as Bled. They all kill Ged. In the last movie in the trilogy, they have to fight a zombie Ged brought back to life by his son, Fred, and daughter, Med. That one is called The Army of Ed, The Battle of Ned, Ted, Fred, Zed, Jed versus Bled, Ged, Pred Med. You can call me the Treasury Department because this will just print money. Boop, 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 boop. You're welcome. Thank you once again, everybody, for joining me for today's Coffee Break. My name is Ryan. If you like this, please like, share, and subscribe to Barista Brawlers. Have a great rest of your day. Mmm.